very surprised when we get the technology to work to see everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, are we live? I know. I'm looking at the computer. Hey, what are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> wow, we got a great, great crowd tonight. Hey, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you here on a Friday night? Saturday night? Saturday night. Saturday night. Woo! It doesn't matter anymore, so you, we don't even know. I know, right? Uh, but it's Saturday <laughs> night. I don't know what you are drinking, but please tell us. Uh, we are drinking our new The Soloist Pinot Noir, and it's kick ass. <laughs> it just shipped this week. There you go. And uh, here, I'll show you the bottle. For all the members that are on right now, a lot of you are getting it. A few are not getting it for just a little bit here. So there it goes. How cool is that? I'm so proud of this wine. We had so much fun coming up with this label, coming up with, you know, all of it, the playlist. So it's fun to actually have it here and get to drink it with you guys. So cheers. Tell us where you're coming in from. And, you know, let us know if someone, you know, got it. Like chime in, let us know if you got the soloist, if you tried it yet. So the whole theme about tonight is the soloist and uh, and Pinot Noir. So we're gonna talk a little bit about where this Pinot was from in between the turkey burger and, which has got a special spice that you've never heard about. We're gonna tell you about a spice today that'll be the greatest <laughs> spice you've ever had in your entire life. Okay. True? This is true. I gotta say, it's look, true. I married him. True. He's got some He's got some <laughs> awesome talents. Wait a minute, it sounds like an apology he's, right now. He's, Look at him. He's so, he's awesome to, you know, just be in the kitchen with, but he can really cook. So I know he can drink wine. That's all well and good, but we make killer turkey burgers and we do it together. So he's got his things and then I've got my little special sauce that I add at the end. So you're going to get the best of both of us with this turkey burger and it's going to pair really nicely with this. And there's going to be some music too. So it's going to be pretty cool. So stick around, Turkey Burgers. Uh, well, let's check out all the hopefully. comments. We got Jersey in the house. We got Germany. Hello from Germany. Everybody say hello to, if I'm going to say the name right, Horst. I'm not going to try that. Oh, Loves Blues. Ah, oh, Horst. That's not your real nice. last name, is it, from Germany? He's my blues brother. All right. Right, right. there. Uh, <laughs> we got Tucson in the house. We got Chicago. I saw fly by. We got Texas. So Mikey. Yeah, we got a couple nice. of people that have the soloist. Hello, Mikey. So tell people a little hey, bit Cheryl. about the idea of the soloist, and then we'll have Mindy play a song right off the top before we start cooking here. So wait, right? I get to talk about the music first. Well, yeah, sure. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is this is cool. This is. We called it the soloist. Obviously, you see the label. So we did this. We sat at our kitchen table, and our daughter Jordan showed us how to take the end of a brush, you know, a paintbrush. So we took the end of a paintbrush, the handle, and put it down on the paper. And one of them we did red because invariably, someone in a band stands out. It could be the leader or it could be a side person with the leader that comes out and just takes over. And this can be in a variety of ways. My grandmother was an opera singer and she was coloratura soprano. And there were arias that were just for her. The entire song, you had no doubt who the soloist was. So in Mozart, the magic flute, you have that beautiful aria that you know, it just sounds like a bird is singing and it's, you know, doing its thing. Or, you know, you, you, you listen to these amazing songs like Ave Maria and you just get taken up in this melody by a soloist. So I really took this kind of in a more classical realm. Uh, me as a soloist in my life, it's not classical, but these soloists always just held my interest and they always made me just sit up and, and my ears perk up. And so we decided to make this. No, those aren't my ears. <laughs> <laughs> what are my you ears? doing back here? I'm being uh, all. <laughs> I've heard this story before, so I was getting a little bored, so I figured I'd play with my wife. Yay. Women, why do you put ponytails <laughs> in your hair? Because he's gonna play with them and it's awesome. <laughs> so um, you keep playing with them. Uh, so this is our soloist wine and I just, 
I made the most fun playlist of these beautiful, some classical, some not so classical, but you know, you always know who the soloist is. So I totally love that. All right. Well, and while Mindy's getting her sex phone, I'm going to show you guys the playlist. Go get your you are? Yeah, okay. that's cute. I'm going to show you the playlist right here. So some of our members have asked us, we have a channel, Reserve Tastings channel. And uh, if you just go to Reserve, I know that's Duran Duran right there. But if you go to Reserve, if you go to Spotify on Reserve on um, on the uh, on your app, and it's free, or you could sign up for it, and you see all of our playlists are right there. And there's the soloist, and then there's all the songs that Mindy curated for the soloist. But go right ahead, Chica. I'm back. So I gotta just see. Did he mess up my ponytails? No, I didn't. Are they straight? I would never. Yeah, I'm straight. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to play you a song that is actually on our playlist, and uh, I just think this song's beautiful. I toured with Josh Grove, and I opened up for Josh. I didn't play in his band, but I opened for Josh in 2004, and he's just such an amazing artist, such a beautiful guy, such a beautiful spirit, but he had this hit. And uh, it was before we were on tour and he sang it every night. And every night I was just mesmerized. And I just think it's, it's such a beautiful song. And there's no doubt who the soloist is. It's Josh Groban. So um, this is called You Raise Me Up. Hey, Mindy. Yeah. I for we forgot something. What, what did we forget? We're supposed to cheers, everybody. Oh. All right, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> who told us? What's the first thing you do in a wine tasting? Cheers! Cheers! Woo! So, it's cooking wine tasting. Well, Cheers cooking wine tasting. Cheers, Bye. everybody. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off before you played, but you needed some courage juice, too. Well, you know, the wine always makes it better. But you know what even makes it better better? Give you know, don't take my wine yet. Uh, turkey burgers. Give me that. Go play for the nice <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to set the mic back. I'm going to get the turkey burger going. What? What? You go ahead and get turkey burger going. I'm talking to the nice people. Wait, are you? Is that too? No, no. It's not close at all. Can you still? Am I going to spill your wine? <laughs> all right. A little Josh Groban, the soloist. <laughs> Me up. Mm. I get to be the soloist on that. All right. 
<laughs> what a way to start the cooking show, huh? You have to start the cooking show. Oh, here, I'll move and Now I need you to be a technician microphone. move the mic back. What? All right. So it needs to go back a little for the saxophone. It gets a little. Ah! Now we're going to start the cooking portion. Okay. Go get your one. Go put your saxophone down. All right. I mean, if you say so. Ada. <laughs> All right, so when we think of turkey burgers, we thought of turkey burgers for this weekend because, you know, it's very California. We live in California, duh. And uh, we eat things like Californians do. We have to change it to try to make it somewhat healthy, even though we eat pizza all the time and uh, I'll eat meat and sausage as much as I can get my hands on it. But that's a separate topic, okay? We'll have to have a sausage and, and meat show. Well, they have a mortadella show, which I know there's a lot of people out there that love that. But I wanna show you the way that Mindy and I make turkey burgers. Now, turkey burgers can be super dry. They could be really uninspiring. I mean, we love turkey because it's leaner. It's better for you, I guess, right? If you're not a vegan or a vegetarian. But, uh, but what I love about it is that it can be flavored really easily. And we're gonna show you something today that blew my mind uh, 12 years ago now. I went to a barbecue shop in you know, a barbecue store with my daughters uh, many, many years ago. They were little and we were marveling. You know, when you go to a barbecue shop, you see all the stoves and everything that you, can, you can't buy, right? It's $5,000 for the super cool one, but you get the little Weber, but it's still everything tastes the same anyway. But on the back wall was this spice, this amazing spice. And, you know, it was kind of a throwaway. Hey, just go buy this when you buy your $5,000 barbecue. And the spice was called butt rub. Now, I'm not kidding you. It's called butt rub. Now, Mindy, you want to show the people the spice? I'll show you. This is one of the greatest spices. <laughs> and right, you've, you've known me now for eight years. This is the greatest spice on the planet, period. And I mean that in a funny way and an awesome way. I'm going to show you a picture of it right now, everybody. All right? Check it out. <laughs> this is not a paid announcement. No, no. This, this is, is not for real. <laughs> No, I don't have a picture of it. I forgot to get a picture. Okay, so when when well, I, I need a picture. You're when I met Eric, uh, this was his favorite thing. He cooked everything with it, right. and I didn't complain a bit. I love it so much. But what is their their tagline? It's butt rub. Everybody likes a little butt rub. <laughs> is that what it is? Everybody needs a little butt rub. Okay, that's what it is. <laughs> Bad Byron's butt rub. So what I love about this <laughs> is for the you know the fellow keto people out there, I eat a lot of protein. I try to eat very low carbs. And this is zero carbs. But what I love about this is a very pure spice. You could put it on eggs, meat, turkey. Yeah. We've had it on pork ribs that we smoke. You guys have seen me smoke in some of the past shows. So this is an outstanding, I mean, outstanding rub. And I stand by it. Go on Amazon. You can buy it really easily. Shows up at your house. And this will be the greatest rub you've ever had. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning it is because we got our turkey right here. Now, Mindy taught me one thing about turkey burgers is that you want to use um, dark meat. Dark meat. Because dark meat, baby. It's fatter. And so it's going to give more flavor. Now, I'm just going to put a little butt rub on it. Just a little. Everybody likes a little butt rub. Oh, just a little. That's not a little. Yeah, it is. What? In the butt rub world, that's little. Okay. But the one thing with turkey burgers, you got to get flavor in them because as we mentioned before, there's not a lot of flavor in turkey. So you got the butt rub. The other thing you need in it is moisture. Oh, can you... Um... Can you say butt rub again? Oh! oh that's not right. I just dropped the egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have, we have an egg down. Egg down. Hold on, I'm gonna get another egg. Wait, 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 I'm gonna clean up the egg. We have to. This is a big moment. We missed our poor egg. Is dead. Sorry, Mr. Egg. You're dying. Ah. Uh, little prayer for the egg. Can you give me another egg? I'm gonna get you another and egg. And can you mix it up in here, please? Uh huh. So you want a little moisture in it too. If it's on the ground, you want to get a new one. You can bring it in. Uh, Always have an extra egg handy. Right. So we're gonna get a. We're gonna get another egg going here. Um, and you want a little moisture in your turkey burger as well. Here you go. Here's your uh, little mixy thing. And, uh, you know, eggs are great. But since I'm kind of more of a low-carb guy, we don't put any breadcrumbs in our turkey burger. I actually think it makes it a little too tough. If you put, like, a, a beaten egg in it and you really beat it up good, make it really refined, um, it actually adds a lot of moisture to it and keeps the turkey very moist. Is that the cutest egg beater you've ever seen? I mean, just tell me. That's cute, right? I'm going to start up the oven here. The stove. 
Um, and then the other thing is we love cheese. So this is a 30 month aged Parmesan that we were using for the Cacio e Pepe not, not too long ago. And I had a love, I love cheese. I had some cheese to the turkey burger as well. Step aside from the egg. And then the last thing, <laughs> then the last thing is onion. We add onion to uh, our turkey burgers for sweetness. It's very savory. You know, the butt rub is very savory. And so we want, and salty, so we want something that's got a little sweetness to it. Wait, that's and shallots. That's not love, onions. Sorry, shallots. We love putting shallots in it. Isn't that the same thing? No, shallots are way cooler. Mm, I don't know about that. Just saying. All right, so I'm going to mix it all up now. Floor how's how's so everybody doing out there? clean now. Is everybody still with Super us? Super clean. Absolutely. You guys are welcome to keep commenting in. Come on in. So I got the oven heated up. We use olive oil. I know olive oil has got a lower smoke point, but we love it because it's good for you. It's not good for you, but it's better for you than any other oil. So while I'm doing this, <laughs> all right, so then we got everything all incorporated. That's how fast that was, but you can kind of see it's glistening. You can see the shallots in there. You can see the Parmesan is in there. And this is perfect for some really moist, really awesome turkey burgers. All right, what do you think, man? Good. Yeah, I like that you add the egg. He's kind of he kind of goes at it from the Italian point of view. Um, I never. Are you adding more butt rub? No. I don't. No. I don't know if you can over add. I always <laughs> let him do this part, but I mean, I'm just kind of watching, going, "Wow, it's a lot of butt rub." All right, so I'm for it though. I'm going to put a little oil in the pan here, and I'm going to start cooking up our burgers. Okay. All right? Yeah. Okay, he's using a cool pan that has the little the grooves in it, like a like an outdoor grill. And uh, everybody, let us know what you're going to eat tonight. It's not just all about us because we have the broadcast. We love to have these shows and these, you know, kind of, you know, wine get-togethers and music get-togethers be as much about you guys as us. So please tell us what you're eating, what you're drinking. We love to see those comments. We really, really do. Um, so I got our turkey burger ready uh, with the butt rub. Yeah, my mom just said I was doing a little butt rub when you're in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mom, does that mean I, you got to watch that I'm butt rubbing while Mindy's standing here? You can't see that, can you? Yeah. <laughs> Turkey burgers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get this fired up. But Mindy, while I'm doing this, can you talk about our adventures? We I hope you guys don't mind. We do, we do have a wine company and we do have adventures and we try not to be too silly about it. We just love it. We just love taking you guys with us, giving you wine, showing you, you know, incredible adventures, taking you to Mindy's shows um, we just love, love being with you guys. So hopefully you don't mind us talking about it. It's how, it's how we make a living and how we live our lives. So, well, so we can talk about the adventures while I get the burgers going here. While you, while you make some patties. Yeah. Out of your butt rub, turkey, egg, cheese mixture. Um, you know what? I love to travel. I've spent my life traveling and I grew up on the road with my dad's band. We didn't have a house till we were probably, you know, till I was five. We just traveled. It was the band truck. I love being out there. And this uh, this pandemic has halted being out there. So, you know, we uh, we came up with some ways to get back with you. And I know all of us have, have talked so much, like we need to come out into the world, but when it gets safer. So we're banking on the fact that the world is gonna be a safer place. Hopefully in June, 2021, we're gonna go on an adventure to Sonoma. So, uh, you know, Sonoma, Napa, maybe you don't know the difference well. Some of you know the difference super well. I know you. Um, but Sonoma is where he lived for 15 plus years. And it's where I used to go up and play Rodney Strong Vineyards. And I mean, we go up there and play and just have fun. And I just always thought it was the most storybook town in America. So we have a little graph up there right now. And on the right side is Sonoma. Um, the bottom right there. Mindy and I are standing in a Sonoma vineyard in the middle. And on the left side is Italy. So we're going to Sonoma in June. We're going to go to Tuscany because we wanted to give that a little extra time to be cool. But actually right now, Tuscany is not looking too bad. They're kind of coming back from all this. So we wanted to wait a little more to be on a, a plane that long. But uh, Sonoma seemed much cooler to right, just so kind of. This might know. spit at you, so careful. <laughs> 
Okay, don't spit it. Yeah, hey, we don't have any music on. But go ahead. What? 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 Ready? Yeah. Okay, he oh. always says make these thin because they they plump up. Yeah, I, they seem to plump up more yeah. than beef. Turkey plump plumps up more than beef, so we try to make them as thin as possible. But they I'm still plump up. Huge. They oh my god, that's up. a huge burger. Nah, get over it. All right. No, I'll eat it. There you go. All right, two turkey burgers in. Yeah. All right. So anyway, June, we're going to uh, to Sonoma. He's going to pull all his favors from his friends and our friends. I'm going to play music for you in amazing vineyards. Uh, we're going to have some friends in to play music with me. We're going to drink great wine. All our winemaker friends are coming in for this. Uh, we're going to take you to amazing places. You're going to eat some amazing food. Um, and the same thing with Tuscany. We don't have as many friends there to pull favors from, but it's Tuscany. Stop it. It's going to be <laughs> amazing. Stop so, it. You're going to enjoy yourself it. and you're going to like it. Uh, and so, you're going to ask for more. <laughs> yeah. Hey, by the way, everybody's chiming in what they're eating. I mean, there's a ton of great stuff out there. There's uh, oh, oh, how high is the heat? Okay, we oh. have it. Yeah. Go ahead. You, no, you go. Go ahead. no, no, go ahead. I was going to say, if someone in New Mexico is having hash chili topping, oh, yeah. Uh, Wait, is that Cheryl? No, it's she... Valerie Nasty. Oh, Valerie. Yeah. Okay. All right, how high is the heat? That was hash the peppers. Mm, hash peppers. You're going to like what we're cooking, Valerie. You're going to like my sauce afterwards. Um, it looks like you're yelling at Valerie. We... <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're going to like it, and you're going to love to like it. <laughs> you're going to like this You're going to like this, Valerie. If you like hash peppers... Ooh, it's starting to smell okay, so good. So Robert asked how high the heat was like 20 minutes ago. Okay, Robert, I'm going to get to you. This goes from 1 It to goes to 11. <laughs> this one goes to 11. <laughs> no, this one only goes to 6. Then there's a high setting. This is not like a guitar amplifier at all. But if I could make an oven, it would go to 11. All right, so before you, what what reference are, is Mindy and I making right now? When we say go to 11, people chime in. Go ahead. <laughs> Minnie and I are making a, a famous movie reference, music <laughs> movie reference right now, like turn it up to 11. But go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, chime in on that because I know some of you know what I'm talking about. But this one only goes up to six. We have got this on four and three quarters. So he wants a little char because I like the char. I will always eat the burned toast. I will always eat the, you know, yeah. I, I always eat the burned burger. I like a little char on it. But, uh, but you got to cook them through. So don't and, go crazy, but medium heat. And one thing we learned about, we had uh, Mindy bought me Masterclass. If anybody went out there and, and bought Masterclass, it's really, really awesome. But we were watching Thomas Keller. And one of the things he taught us about the tools that he uses in his kitchen is that just because this is a fish spallet doesn't need a spatula. Spallet. Spallet. That was awesome. <laughs> that was a new word. Um, I'm still traumatized by the egg. Doesn't mean you have to use it for fish. I love it for other things. Uh, you know, Thomas Keller uses a pastry, um, what do you call it? The, you know, the, you smooth out the icing, the little pastry. Oh, yeah, yeah. He uses that to turn burgers with. So I love this thing, and uh, I, I use it to cook the burgers. Oh, Ow, you can eat it. <laughs> i got to put it on the burger now. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the burgers because we're getting a little char on the other side. Ah, uh, see, that's the char I'm looking for. That's awesome. Now, you can get crazy. You can get fancy oh. and pull out a little weight to really smush those burgers down. You're such a show off. I just just had that somewhere in the drawer. Um, so while the burgers are cooking, I'm going to get Mindy's recipe ready, her ingredients ready. Do you want to play the next song for the, the next sauce. people? Um, what time is it? Yeah. Oh, it's time to play another song. I can play it. Can I? Is it okay? Did yep. anyone get the movie reference? Uh, oh, yep. Uh, Alan did. Uh, Smile Tap! Jeannie did. If I'm getting your name right, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we had two people say Spinal Tap, and that was it. So when you cook your turkey burgers, you have to cook it on 11. <laughs> no, no. Everything we cook is on 11. No. Cacio Pepe was on 11. Only guitar amps have to be to 11, but the turkey burgers do not have to be on 11. 11. So right after Mindy plays, and I take the burgers off, we're going to talk a little bit about Pinot Noir and where this wine is from. So if you guys want to learn a little master class about Pinot, we're going to do that next. Okay? And uh, you asked, are there... Hey, no. No, you can't drive me. No. <laughs> um... And you asked, are there hot peppers coming? 
Yes. Yes, there are. That's my segment of the cooking. <laughs> so, um, they're not very sexy. Should I open up the can of your hot peppers? Yeah, you can. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Thanks, honey. Not everything is five star, but I'm going to show you how to do it, and it tastes so great. So, I talked to you about the music that goes with our wine, the soloist. And for me, I look at soloists, and I, I look towards you know people who come out from an orchestra, or Andrea Bocelli who stands in front of this you know amazing orchestra and you know just sings and, and you melt you know but in my world i don't live in the classical world there aren't many saxophonists who do Woo! Sorry. Ooh, getting crazy here. i feel ahead. it i feel I'm the gonna heat i'm gonna take it off i can't go on i can't go on anymore we just Get watched a, off of that thing. we just watched a james brown documentary with uh chadwick bowen uh, Chad Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman played Brilliant. James Brown. He was so good. Brilliant, but uh, yeah, it just reminded me. <laughs> I can't go on with my turkey burgers. <laughs> right. Okay, so in my world, it's not classical. So a soloist means something completely different. Ooh, what? You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You show the nice people. What? Those are turkey burgers. Well, yeah, it's a turkey burger class. What? Let's give me those. You're going to drop them. <laughs> says, the egg? says the guy who dropped the egg. You dropped an egg on live Facebook. Oh uh, my God. Uh, uh, <laughs> I love you too. Okay, so soloist in my world is something completely different than an opera singer standing and singing Ave Maria or Andrea Bocelli singing or, you know, Chris Bodie or, you know, uh, Josh Groban, like I just played you. So in my world, I've had to, at the start, be a side person for other people. I would play in their bands. Some of these bands have solos that are so recognizable, you have to play them, okay? And I bet I will charge you with typing in one of those solos that it's in, as important as the song, that if you're listening to some song, you're going to sing the solo that the saxophonist played or that the guitar player played. Say Hotel California. Say Phil Wood's alto saxophone solo on Billy Joel's song. I mean, I have to say, I love you just the way you are. It's as much about the saxophone solo as it is the rest of the song. I have to sing it exactly the same. I love you just the way you are, Bernadette. So give me your songs that you think the solo is just as important oh, as yeah, that's the one. song, that's right? Great. So chime in with what saxophone solos that you love that are in songs that we know. Did right? you just burp as you said that? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, chime <clears throat> Chime in. I, what? She got the turkey burger. I ate a piece of it. <laughs> I ate a bite. Oh my god, he's eating a turkey <laughs> burger over there. You and I are talking. He's he's eating. I'm so ashamed. Oh my god. Oh my so god. Awesome. This is this is turkey burger shaming. I had a bite. <laughs> All right, you, you go play. I'm talking. Oh, we okay. Have, we have Baker Street Brown Sugar. Oh well, forever pattern. Yeah, channel, forever. of course. Yeah. Love that. Work it. Amen by Chris Bodie. Careless Whisper. Absolutely. Absolutely, right? Absolutely. Sometimes the soloist comes out. So I'm going to keep them going because I want to I wanna read all these. Born these to are, Run. Yeah. Okay. Born to Run. Perfect example, right? Uh, I got to play with Springsteen once, but I toured for a while with Max Weinberg. And he, boy, he told me, when you play these songs, they are so important to have it note for note, what it is. And I played a lot of Springsteen's songs with him. Um, so I'm gonna play you the Born to Run solo. And if you play this song live, you have to play this solo. It's just part of it. Mike, back here. <laughs> nice job, stagehand. <laughs> Solo. 
All right, we got uh, Turn the Page. That is... Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Um, what's his head? Come on, guys. What's his name? Turn the Page. We were just listening to him the other night. Tell us who the... the uh, I'm having a brain... Okay, I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you one you haven't thought of. You just went to Duran Duran on, on uh, my phone, right? Oh, Urgent by Foreigner. That was Junior Walker who played that solo. That's why I was so awesome. <laughs> oh, Bob Seeger. Thanks, Scott. Bob Seeger. Yeah. Sorry, Mindy, go ahead. Um, Duran Duran. Perfect example. Oh, yeah. When I joined Duran Duran for their Come Back to America tour, I think it was 2004, probably. I mean, I had such respect for those arrangements and their sax player. They, it was just woven in. Those guys are such geniuses. John Taylor with his bass playing. I mean, everything weaves in just like counterpoint. I mean, it's it's like a classical composition. They're just yeah. they're such geniuses. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I played the solo to Rio every night, and you gotta play it like it is. So Rio. Yep. Shotgun from Artie. Ah! And I know you can play shotgun. <laughs> shotgun! Shoot him for me right now. Uh, I gotta remember the Oh, key. you don't remember. <laughs> no, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I put you on the spot. That's awesome. Come on, play shotgun. Come on. Uh, I, I, yeah. Give me, give me a second. Sorry. <laughs> How does it go? How does it go? It goes, uh, sure. Uh, no, I gotta, I gotta remember. Uh, All right. It is Stunt Mindy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to feed her a bottle of wine. We're going to go live and we're going to throw a bunch of songs at you. I've only you played this play. song a million times. Yeah. <laughs> It'll come back to me after Duran Duran's out of my head. <laughs> All right. So listen, why don't you put the saxophone down? Mindy's going to make her world famous, galactical <laughs> famous. I just made up a word. Universal famous. Get out of here. <laughs> A good turkey burger is nothing without an awesome sauce, right? Right? It's all about the sauce. Did you say awesome sauce? Awesome sauce. Here, wipe the, wipe the Junior Walker off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweat in the kitchen. That is so hot right there, by the way. I can't go on. I feel, I feel, I feel the heat. I can't go on. <laughs> Bye! All right. So, I love on a turkey burger, I love a green chili kind of topping. And I love green chilies. You can't get them fresh all the time. So I buy the canned ones. Don't hate me. All right. So <laughs> they're easy. It's like 79 cents What's for the can. It's awesome. They might be but disappointed, but they're not going to hate you. You can buy hatched peppers. You don't know how hot or mild they are, but these mild green chilies are like um, big ed chilies, you know, those kind of things you can yeah. buy them. So he was nice enough to open the can for me. We like organic. We think it makes a difference. It seems to make sense in theory. It does. Yeah. I'm for organic. You want to drain them? So, I don't want to drain them. I like the sauce. All right. So, little green chilies. These are super mild. These aren't hot at all. 
they just got nice flavor. They're kind of sweet. So I put that, um, I put just a little garlic powder. If, if I'm cooking a lot that day, I'll actually do garlic, but garlic powder isn't going to be a big deal, right? So a little garlic powder. powder. Yeah, I put some music on. Ooh. We're listening to a little Flamingo Sketches by Chris Bowie. It's on our playlist. I love that. Yep. I love that. Okay, I'm heating it up with cayenne pepper. What? See, it's so pretty, right? Yeah. Thanks, Chris. The little romantic setting from our playlist. Okay, so cayenne pepper, heat it up a little bit, for God's sakes. There's no time for romance. We got turkey burgers to make. I got turkey burgers to eat. Hey, where's, okay. your, where's your bun? You need salt. Oh, yeah, you got to toast up my bun. Forgot to toast Mindy's bun. Is that, is that code? No, it's not code. It's really toasting a bun. <laughs> We're in our 50s now. It's enough. Okay, okay. All right. Um, so a little bit of salt, right? A little bit of garlic, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Um, the butt rub's already in there, but check this out. Go ahead. Since you're using these little green chilies that you know how hot they are, because if you buy hatch peppers, you don't know how hot they are. So I've got a few habaneros just to, I got them in my back pocket just because you may need them, right? Now, when you cut these, don't touch your face. <laughs> don't touch anything. Do you know this from experience? Don't go to the bathroom. Don't touch your eyes. Don't touch your hair. Don't touch anything, okay? But do it to taste, and you may kill yourself figuring out how hot they are. But I like a nice hot pepper here and there. Is this my one? I think it adds. And the wine's gonna hold up to it. Oh, we were supposed to do a Pinot session. All right. Well, we can get to that. <laughs> it's not all about the wine. It's all about the hot peppers. So chop them up good so that you don't get, you know, a big piece of one. Would you like to try a piece? No. You sure? Sure. You're sure you're sure? Or are you sure you, don't, you want a piece? No, I'm good. <laughs> he knows better. <laughs> so I'm kind of minting this up. Go, Chris Bodie. Play it. Be the soloist. All right, let's put this together. Come on. All right. So I'm going to take about half of this because... I'm toasting Mindy's bun. <laughs> so good at what that. What are you giggling? What is this? <laughs> Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wash your hands after the habanero pepper. <laughs> Woo! Hey! I'm going to touch you with my habanero fingers. How are we doing on air? We're good. How's everybody doing? I got the control panel here. I got a seat. Oh, Roy just came in. Hey, Roy. Hey, Roy. What's going on? What's going the on, man baby? is cooking, but I'm making the sauce. Okay, so we've got our habanero peppers. Turkey that's, burgers. That's a lot of that's a lot of flavor. Okay, so that's gonna kind of sit for a second. I think we'll put it just to warm it up for thirty seconds. 20 seconds, but I like a good mayonnaise. Give me like some chipotle and some mayonnaise, I'm good. I like different peppers. So we've got the green chilies with the habanero peppers, that's gonna make your day. But just a little bit of mayonnaise with a lot of chipotle pepper. And this chipotle pepper is like a smoky thing, right? Smoky. Do you want any butt rub? I don't want any butt rub, I've got enough butt rub. I've got a lot of butt rub in my life. I love this recipe, but it's one issue. It doesn't have any butt rub in it. <laughs> You've already got your butt rub in there, so. Brought to you by butt rub. It's not. He did call Bad Byron one day just to figure out how we could get more butt rub at uh, some well, point. We got t-shirts. Oh, we got t-shirts. And they sent us a, uh, uh, what did they send us? They sent us t-shirts. Uh, they sent us stickers. Yeah. And, yeah, and they sent us another butt rub. <laughs> okay, so a little mayonnaise, a little chipotle these are pepper, right. so it gives it that smoky flavor, right? I'm going to get a plate because so, these are right. Now, we've got a toasted bun, and he's not doing a bun because he is keto, and he doesn't need a bun to make him happy, but I do. Yes. So, what I've mentioned before is I try to lay off carbs as much as possible. I have my cheat days for pasta usually save for that. So, I'm going to have a turkey burger without the bun. 
she's skinny and she could eat buns all her life. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Wow. Okay, so he's going to put it together. Little turkey, little, are you going to put cheese on them? Oh, I forgot the cheese. It's like we've never done a cooking show. All right, so we Actually, have we've only cheese. done one. We have, um, this is being the refined people that we are, you know, high-end wines, high-end cheeses, the Manchegos, the beautiful cheeses of the world. This is a very high-end cheese from the United States called American White Cheese. I'm not even sure what it's made of. But the one thing with turkey you burgers. You are so fancy right now. You're killing me. The one thing that it, it reminds us of is childhood. We loved eating white American cheese as, as kids growing up in New Jersey for me. Mindy growing up on the East Coast. So we're going to use our traditional white American cheese. Are you not going to melt it over? I like it when you melt it over. I know. I forgot to put it on before I took it off the oven. Right. So I'm going to... I'm here to facilitate... Oh! <laughs> really? It got in there. It's all good. Don't try this at home. <laughs> How are people doing on there? Do you guys want some turkey burger? I know you do. Oh, you got a lid already. Oh, yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Will you tell them a little bit about Pino? All right, so... For everybody that has stuck with us through the turkey burgers, we're going to talk a little bit about the Pinot Noir. So what I love Rosie about Rose. what I love about Pinot Noir, where's my glass? That's, oh, where's my? Was I wearing pants when I started? <laughs> <this? laughs> That's a Drunk History reference. Yeah. If any of you watch Drunk History. All right. So what I love about Pinot Noir, I'm going to show you some pictures. That the soloist is our Pinot Noir from Carneros, Sonoma. So Carneros is Southern Sonoma, Napa. It's the only appellation that crosses over between Sonoma and Napa. Sonoma and Napa are completely two different worlds, two different valleys. Oh boy, I can tell you that. We've lived in both places and I've managed wineries in both. And I can tell you they're as different as the news tells you, as the media tells you, as the sensational books that have been written about the Mandavis or about Sonoma. It is very different. Sonoma is definitely more laid back, smaller wineries. Napa is more over the top, Bordeauxish kind of, you know, chateaus and everything else. And they're both exceptional in their own rights. But Carneros is a region south of that. I'm going to show you guys a picture if you're sticking with me here. And uh, I'm going to show you a picture right now of Carneros. Now I'm going to first show you a picture of Northern California. So this is right above San Francisco. San Sonoma is a very big region on the left side. Napa's on the right. And in the bottom, in that little green area, is Carneros. And it crosses over between Sonoma and Napa. So wines can be called Sonoma Carneros, Napa Carneros, or just Carneros. Ours is a Sonoma Carneros, which is on the left side of this picture. And this is what it looks like. Minnie and I have driven through here a million times. And what, so beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. But what do you notice about this? First off, the dramatic, you know, the clouds, the area is very, very uh, rustic, dry, but it's also very windy. And you can see off to the left of this picture. Check out to the left of this picture. That's the ocean. That's where the Pacific Ocean comes in. So this keeps this region really, really cool. It keeps the region super cool, and that's what you want for Pinot Noirs, lighter white wines, mostly, um, Chardonnays, Sauvignon Blancs, but Pinot Noir thrives in those regions where it's more cool during the nights and warmer during the days. So since this is in Sonoma and Napa, it gets pretty warm, obviously, but at night, it can go from 90-something degrees of the day, it can go down in the 50s at night, and Pinot Noir loves that. The thin skin great. That's why it's so light in your class. It's more elegance. Pinot Noir is, is pure elegance in a glass, and so you could smell and pick up the real nuances of the fruit. It's not overpowering. It's not big. So for all you big red wine drinkers out there, I, I agree with you. Cabs, Merlots, Syrahs are absolutely amazing. But winemakers at the highest level, the, the few wines that are most difficult for them to make, one of them is champagne or sparkling wine, and the other one is Pinot Noir because it's so temperamental, so difficult to grow in these areas because the picture you just saw there, that, that, that uh, region is really, really rugged. It's unpredictable. Where the rest of the Napa and Sonoma is, is very predictable. The weather down there is more unpredictable because the afternoon ocean breeze can bring you whatever it wants, rain, mist, 
coldness while the rest of the nap is snow and warm. And it creates a very difficult environment to make an outstanding wine. So I've said this before. There's two different types of Pinot. Mindy and I have drank 20 different Pinots to find this one. There's the good ones, and then there's everything else. And the good ones are about 10% of all Pinots. You can find a lot of good Zinfandels, a lot of good Sauvignon Blancs, a lot of good Pinot Grigios, a lot of good Rosés. But Pinot Noir is one of the more difficult wines to find that's very, very good. And when you find one that's this good, you buy it and you offer it to your membership. So this Pinot that we found for our membership is very special. It's an incredibly small lot. It's incredibly luxury. I would, this is like an 80 or or $100 Pinot that you'd find in the winery. So we're really proud of it. We love the name. And uh, that's the wine segment. So thank you. Well, the, I, I love this wine. Like I can drink so much of this. This also went out with our Soundwave Chardonnay. All our members got it oh, this week. I can show you. So um, we're actually going to do a special. Well, you have to come back on Tuesday yeah. because Tuesday we'll be in the backyard and I'll be with Peter White. No, or you're going to be with me. I'll be with Pedro Blanco. Pedro Blanco. Pedro Blanco. And we even have a special guest coming in besides Pedro Blanco. We will all be socially distanced, but uh, we're going to have some fun with you. Wait, so come, I haven't told you yet. Uh, come Tuesday I don't to the backyard. Special, I don't know the special I, you don't have to know everything. This is my house too. Though. You know, I'm just saying uh, things happen. Can we go off camera for a second? Talk? <laughs> um, so Tuesday and then the Friday after that. Hello. Yeah. Oh, Friday after that. We are doing a video release. Hey, who loves the cheese that gets stuck on the bottom of the Wine. Oh, pan? You bum. Mm. Oh. Is it good? It's good, right? It's so good. Okay, so we're going to do on Friday after the Tuesday, next Friday, we're going to do a little listening party to my new video for forever, which is out on my Facebook page right now. But we're going to do like a special listening and have a little special guest there as well to talk about how we made this song. I wrote it and we just recorded it right before uh, the pandemic hit, right before the world shut down. And it was it was so special. So this wine that we just shipped along with the soloist, this is the sound wave to my song forever. And look how cool that is. We literally just made it the label for this wine because <laughs> It just looked so cool and you can do that. So when we were mixing the song, this is what the actual waveform looks like for the entire song. So we're gonna drink wine. We're gonna listen to forever and watch the video together and have some fun next Friday. So uh, do we have turkey burgers? Can I put it together? Yeah, you can put it together. And uh, by the way, so people are asking, you can buy Butt Rob on Amazon. Oh so yeah. People were saying they used to find it at Ace Hardware. Really? Uh, beautiful label, right? Um, and someone mentioned Pinot and Burgundy. Absolutely. This this is all about Pinot in California. To me, Pinot and Burgundy is uh, apples to oranges. Same grape, but whole new show. Okay, will you hold up uh, my little turkey burger on a bun, and I'm going to kind of dress it up so that, that they can see? Is that code? That's not code. Okay, okay so, so this is Mindy's. Little habaneros in there, you okay. see, right? How do I do with the bun? You want to taste the chilies? Yeah, how do I do with the bun? The bun looks awesome. All right. What do you think? Woo! Oh yeah, that's no joke, right? Excuse me for a second. <laughs> I like it hot. Those habaneros are no joke. Brr. No joke. <laughs> okay, so All right. bun. 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 Okay, so put these on here. I like a lot of them. So put a lot of them on. Stop it. No, I want to look over at the camera, make sure people can see. Oh, what are you doing? I'm, I'm like, what, what you are you doing? I'm not creeping on you. Okay, give me I do that when you're sleeping. <laughs> okay, I'm not done. Keep, keep it, keep it. Keep it. You need more on there? No, I need mayonnaise. I feel like this is triple D. Okay, diners, I need mayonnaise. Diners and, yeah. See that? That's that chipotle pepper. Oh, that's right. That's right. With. That's right. right. On the toasty bun. This is where it gets sexy. I'm going to turn the camera off. <laughs> then I'm not done. Good. Okay, keep it up there. Wait, what else are you going to put on it? Okay, I like spinach. Right. This is the roughage your mother told you about. So for all the guys out there, this to me is a middle man that we just don't need. No, he doesn't want his spinach on there, but no. I do. Okay, so now you this can... healthy stuff is turkey is healthy enough. That's that's good. That gives it a little a little greenery, a little How fun, beautiful right? Is that? Yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. Eat your heart out? Mm. Triple D. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take, um, can I have some of the peppers? Yeah. I'm going to put this on first, right? Okay. This Do you have a thing why you put the mayo first? Keto you know, version. Then? Yeah, because you know why? Why? Uh, and people can appreciate this because this creates a base, like a glue, right? Okay. And then, um, should I use the same spoon? Yeah, yeah. We're at home. Okay. No one's watching. And then this Just drink makes... right out of the milk can. <laughs> well, I was drinking your wine before. And this what? makes the peppers kind of melt into the glue. Look at that. It looks like a big mess, but it tastes awesome. Mine looks better. Yeah. What? Yeah, it does. All so, right. That's all we got for tonight. Well, turkey burgers and wine. I'm taking yours. Wait. Yeah. All right. Let's turn the music on. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I like this. All right. Well, now we gotta eat. So you know. <laughs> so we love you guys. We love you guys. Everybody that comes here all the time. So we got Tuesday night, Mindy and Pedro Blanco, and someone else coming to my house. And I have no idea who it is, and I have not approved of it just yet. <laughs> You're gonna love it. All right, I'll probably approve of it. I'll forget by an hour from now. Um, and then we have Friday night, Mindy's forever song release. And, and video release. I have one last message, Save Ferris. For all of you that out there that know what Save Ferris means. What is this? It's, this is movie trivia night, isn't it? I love that you guys knew what Spinal Tap was. I love that. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, for everybody that's a wine club member and has bought things from us, thank you so much. It means a lot to us. Uh, as in your world, this is how we live. We're home, we're cooking. Hey! We're breaking shit. <laughs> we're dropping eggs. Um, but but truthfully, this is this is how Minnie and I live. And we, we just love that you guys are part of it. We really do. You created a whole new level to our lives in the last eight months that we never could imagine. Now, we're having so much fun. Thank you for staying connected and uh, cooking with us and joining us for our little nights, uh, whether it's music or wine or, or food, uh, you make our day, so. But Pedro Blanco on Tuesday is always a good time. Oh yeah. I love hanging out with Pedro afterwards. He talks about English rock bands, it's awesome. I know, we He's sit around everybody. talking about Genesis songs that you've never heard of and talking yeah. about all these cool, you know, things, every detail about the Beatles, so. Um, I promise we've got some really cool songs for you Tuesday. So we will see you then and see you Friday. I'll post um, recipes, how we made this because we did that the last time two guys were asking. So thank you for an amazing night. And for those of you that are not members, um, we have a few wines that are available on our wine shop at reservetastings.com. You're welcome to try the wine out to see if it is as good as we say. I challenge you. Um, <laughs> to try one is, uh, we only drink good wine and that's, that's all that Mindy and I will offer to our closest friends. So thank you. Cheers to you. It's getting very dramatic in here. I listen. know the music. Oh, this is, listen to the playlist. Is this Godfather? <laughs> all right. We love you guys. We end on the Godfather. Wow. Um, Mindy? Yes. I want you to go for a little ride with me. I will not go for a ride with you. Not 